Hello everyone, we can feel and see air pollution, water pollution, but we are not able to see the poison and the harmful chemicals that slowly seep into the soil from the mines, heap of garbage and chemical waste scattered by the factories. We already know about the biodegradable and the non-biodegradable wastes. So, do one thing. Calculate the waste your household produces in one day like vegetable waste, fruit peel, paper, wrapper, etc. Now, multiply that by 365 and divide by the number of persons living in your house. You will find that the waste produced per person per year would be more than half a ton. That's too much and something should be done about it, right? Now, imagine how much waste is produced by the whole nation and where does all the waste go? As we know, biodegradable waste gets broken down by the microbes. But non-biodegradable waste continues to lie around. It interferes with water holding capacity of the soil and also spreads toxic chemicals that decrease the biological activity in the soil. But the things are not as simple as it sounds. You will hear a term very often while talking about waste. Solid waste. So what is solid waste? It is organic or inorganic waste produced by various activities of the society which has lost its value to the first user. And this solid waste poses the biggest challenge to the society today. There is municipal solid waste which consists of household waste, construction and demolition, debris, etc. And that's not all. Then comes the threatening hazardous solid waste like the waste containing toxic substances from the hospitals, industries, etc. And then comes even more threatening infectious solid waste which are biomedical or hospital waste produced during different treatments, etc. It has medicines, human excreta, even expired blood, cough, urine or excreta samples which can spread diseases. All these get piled up somewhere to damage the environment. Now, as the soil is in the direct contact with these solid wastes, you can expect some chemical seeping into it, right? Not only we and the industry, even farmers contribute to the land pollution. Plants need 10 macro elements for good growth. These are carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, sulfur, phosphorus, potassium, magnesium, calcium and iron. Deficiency of any of these is corrected using fertilizers. But factory made fertilizers come with some impurities which are not good for soil. Sometimes traces of toxic metals like arsenic, lead, cadmium etc are found in such fertilizers. Micro quantity is not harmful but when fertilizers are used too much and too often, these toxic metals get accumulated in the soil and then they get transferred to the crop and from crop to us. Also, indiscriminate use of pesticides by the farmers poses a big problem too. Traces of pesticides such as DDT, which is dichloro, diphenyl, trichloroethane, BHC, which is benzene hexachloride, and chlorinated dihydrocarbons, furodon, etc., get absorbed in the soil particles and from there to the crops, 
and from crops to our bodies these pesticides not only have toxic effect on the animals and humans but they also decrease the fertility of the soil you know this kind of poisoning is not limited to human beings only all the other animals get affected too how the traces of pesticides get transferred to the plants while they absorb water from the soil now primary consumers eat lots of plants and traces of these toxic chemicals get transferred to their bodies but the concentration gets higher and the concentration of chemicals keep increasing in the primary consumer then the secondary consumer eats it now the secondary consumer eats many primary consumers so the toxic chemicals are transferred from the primary consumer to the secondary consumers and then from secondary to the tertiary consumers thus chemical transfers from one level to another through the food chain and with every level the concentration of toxic substances increases and this is especially true for chemicals which don't break down easily like ddt and phc this process of increasing concentration through the food chain is called biomagnification because of this after world war 2 when ddt use increased rapidly many tertiary consumers like many eagles falcons became endangered so we must be careful what we are throwing on the ground because it may come back to us so that's all for now bye bye